Now, the city of Bristol is located in the southwest of England, and as of 2019, the population of Bristol was around 467,000 residents residing within the city, although the population has most likely increased since this census. In both 2014 as well as 2017, the city of Bristol was named as the best city in Britain in which to live. Bristol even went on to win the European Green Capital Award in 2015, this award being eligible to all cities across Europe that have more than 100,000 residents. And whilst it looked as if Bristol was the the ideal place to live. What a lot of people are unaware of is the rise in gang rivalries within the area, thus resulting in stabbings, shootings, and murders occurring in some of Bristol's most populated postcodes. One of these gang feuds is the rivalry between a gang based around the BS-16 postcode and the BS-2 postcode, more notably known as 1-6 versus 2-4s. Before I discuss the incidents that resulted in this becoming Bristol's most dangerous rivalry, I need to highlight the main gangs involved in this gang war and how they have come to rival with one another. Before this video begins, I have created a Patreon for all uncensored content. The video you are currently watching has been edited to fit with YouTube's guidelines. This includes the censorship of CCTV and other content. If you would like to see uncut sections of my videos, however, feel free to head over to my Patreon, where you can see the raw versions of my videos for just £1.50 a month, equating to $1. Now, two fours or twos are a street gang based around the St. Paul's and St. Jude areas within Bristol. More specifically, the postcode, BS2. Before the two fours gang was around, around the 1990s, a large street crew was more prominent within the St. Paul's area, this gang being known as the Aggie Crew. It's rumored that this Aggie Crew dominated the drug market within Bristol at one point, supposedly making around a million pounds, before police would swoop in and arrest the prominent members. Following these arrests, Jamaican Yardy gangs became a lot more prominent within the areas, these including the Hype Crew amongst others, with it being rumored that these Yardy gangs had a rivalry with the Aggie Crew, although these gangs aren't really around anymore. And in the 2000s, young gang members from the St. Paul's and Easton area Areas began to rival one another under the Bloods and Crips. The St. Paul's area became home to the Bristol Blood Gang, whilst Easton was home to the High Street Crew, this gang identifying with the color blue, although it's believed that these gangs have died down just like the Aggie Crew. And as of most recently, the most prominent gang based around the St. Paul's area is that of Two Fours, or known more simply as Twos. Whilst the younger generation of the Easton Crips became known as Five Side, continuing to rival Two Fours, although nowadays the main beef is between Two Fours and One Six from BS16, prominent members of two fours include Jibzy, Eeks, and YJ, with this two fours gang previously having a dangerous rivalry with the five side gang, although nowadays the beef is between two fours and the crew known as one six. The gang that rivals two fours is known as one six or sixteen side. This one six gang is located around the fish ponds and hillfields areas of Bristol, BS 16. The one six gang identifies under the color green. It's important to note that both one six and five side have had a long standing rivalry with two fours. Although it's rumored that one six and five side aren't directly allied, you may remember that I said five side have been in a long standing rivalry with two fours. Well, one six also had beef with two fours. This beef then leading to one of the deadliest modern day gang feuds that has taken place in the city of Bristol. Prominent members of the 1-6s include RC or Loki, TK, and JM. Now, you may be confused as to how groups of teenagers from estates only streets away from one another have come to have such a deadly and bloody rivalry with each other, resulting in stabbings, shootings, and murders taking place within the city of Bristol. Now, it's not exactly known what took place that eventually led to the beef between the 1-6 and 2-4 gang. What is known is that both groups used to be chill with each other, even supposedly being affiliated at one point, with it even being rumored that some prominent members of 2-4s used to rep the 1-6 gang before the beef started. Although following an altercation, the gang split, thus forcing members to pick sides and begin to beef their old friends. Now, it's believed that stabbings and brawls broke out between members following this, with rappers beginning to release songs, example being the 1-6 crew, who released a Who's Hard Freestyle in September 2018. Under a month following this, however, the beef got deadly when a member of 1-6 was stabbed to death. On the 9th of October 2018, 21-year-old Ronald Lee, or R1, would be standing on Gill Avenue within Fish Ponds, BS 16, when a man approached him, stabbing him once. With the assailant then fleeing seconds later, R1 was rushed to hospital, but sadly died three days later, on the 12th of October 2018. Shortly after the attack on R1, a 48-year-old man was seriously assaulted, even being left in critical condition. The attack left the 48-year-old with brain damage as well as multiple fractures. It's believed this attack was carried 
carried out by R1's friends, who had thought that the 48-year-old was responsible for his death. This 48-year-old was a known drug user, even appearing in an article from 2012 which read, Oxford drug user hid in ceiling light fitting. Although this 48-year-old was never convicted for the murder, rest in peace, R1. Only a few months following this murder, in March 2019, two Fours members Jibzy and R5 would release a track titled Pressure. This track did well and amassed a good amount of attention, currently sitting on around 187,000 views. The two Fours crew then followed this release up with the track titled Who's Hard in May 2019, before then dropping Riding in September 2020. This song currently sitting on over 80,000 views, two Four were not the only gang making noise in the Bristol drill scene. Their rivals, 1-6, would also be making noise. They released the track titled 16 in February 2019, this being followed by a track titled Hunting in March 2019. And whilst it looked as if these rappers could maybe make it out of the streets, the gang war in Bristol was continuing and was only going to get more heated following the death of a 2-4s member in December 2019. On the 14th of December 2019, two members of the Two Fours gang would be in a flat, these being Blacks and another 14-year-old unknown boy. Both would be play fighting and got into an argument over an iPhone charger. It's believed that the teen retrieved a knife and told Blacks to come here, in which Blacks ran toward his teen friend getting stabbed in the process. Blacks sadly died moments later, with the teen responsible being arrested at his family home in the hours after. A murder trial took place, in which the teenager claimed self-defense, eventually being acquitted of the murder in May 2020. After the jury unanimously agreed he didn't mean to cause any harm to Blacks. Either way, rest in peace, Blacks. The death of Blacks was an incident that repeatedly got mocked by young 1-6 members when they released music. A prime example of this being 16-year-old YM, who rapped about the murder in an unreleased song in which he rapped the lyrics. Oh dear, oh lord. Got bored and he fell to the floor. Got packed for an iPhone cord, you can cop one of them for less than a score. Man, you must feel sore, could've got a charger in a Poundland store. As I'm sure you can tell, this was a direct diss, as it's believed Blacks was stabbed over an iPhone charger. Rest in peace, Blacks. Only a few months following the alleged accidental stabbing that killed Blacks, a new rapper began to make noise in the underground Bristol drill scene, this being 19-year-old TK or Stretch, who released the track titled AOSD in March 2020, this amassing around 100,000 views in the months after its release. TK then dropped his second track Caliweed in November 2020, also getting around 100,000 100,000 views. And whilst it looked as if TK could make it out of Bristol and onto bigger stage, he would sadly be killed in 2022 in an unrelated incident, although I'll speak about that incident later. Sadly, however, even though a spotlight was being shunned on the young rappers from these areas in Bristol, what many fans were unaware of was the fact that the deadly gang war in Bristol was going to heat up in 2021 and 2022, following the death of an alleged 1-6 member that then led to supposed get-back attacks, thus resulting in multiple more people being killed, shot, and stabbed in Bristol. On the 14th of October 2021, 18-year-old Dante Davis, or Carms, who was associated with the 1-6 gang, would be walking home from a music studio in Lawrence Hill with two other friends. Whilst the trio were en route home, a rival 2-4's gang member known as Kron Sawyers would ride up on a bike and notice the trio. A heated exchange then ensued, in which you can see the members getting into a verbal altercation on CCTV. Kyron Sawyers then told Carms to quote, come round the corner. Carms and his two friends then making their way out of view of any CCTV. It's believed that Carms made the first attack toward Chiron Sawyers, who then followed up with multiple fatal blows, in which Carms was stabbed multiple times, sadly dying on the scene. Chiron Sawyers then fled the scene, even being seen riding around on a bike only minutes after the murder had occurred, although he was later arrested. Chiron Sawyers claimed that he acted in self-defense, however the jury disagreed and charged Chiron Sawyers with manslaughter. In the end, he was handed a nine-year sentence for the murder. During the trial, evidence showed that Chiron Sawyers was actually featured in a 2-4's music video only months before the murder had occurred. Within this music video, members were seen burning green bandanas, this being a sign of disrespect toward the 1-6 gang. Rest in peace, Carms. Shortly after this murder in 2022, TK or Stretch would be continuing to make serious noise in the music scene, releasing the track titled Gaza in January 2022, before then dropping his hotspot freestyle under a month later, even going on to feature on a HB freestyle in March 2022, although this was released in July 2022. Unfortunately, however, TK wouldn't see the success that his HB freestyle would gain as sadly just weeks later, he was sadly stabbed to death. 
On the 29th of August, 2022, 21-year-old TK or Stretch or Takayo Nembhard would be celebrating at Notting Hill Carnival, this being a Caribbean carnival that is annually held in the area of Notting Hill, Kensington, within West London. Sadly, during the celebration, however, TK was stabbed by someone whilst he was in a large crowd. TK was rushed to hospital but unfortunately was pronounced dead a few hours following the attack. A murder investigation was launched following the murder. This investigation saw the arrests of around five people, although these five people have since been released, leaving the murder of 21-year-old TK or Stretch unsolved, with Crime Stoppers even going on to offer up £20,000 in 2023 to anyone with information, although this has not managed to turn up anyone. Rest in peace, TK. Only hours following TK's death, his producer released a heartfelt tribute on his Instagram account, which read, Two years ago, a young 19-year-old man came from Bristol to meet me at my studio with his dad. His name was Takayo Nembhard, aka TK, or Stretch. That meeting took us on a journey. We recorded some great music together. His talent was endless. And I can tell you guys he was close to greatness. So it's with a heavy heart that I bring the news that Takayo passed away last night. TK was a massive loss to the 1-6 crew, who went on to mourn him after his death, with new rappers beginning to make noise in the Bristol drill scene, example being RC, or Loki and YM, who released a Loden freestyle in July 2022, before going on to release another track with YM, although this song featured JM and was titled Plug Talk. Both of these songs amassing tens of thousands of views. YM even went on to do his own solo Plug Talk, which was seriously cold and turned a lot of people's heads as he was flowing differently on this song. At the beginning of 2023, RC or Loki, YM and JM dropped another track together, this being titled All Right. If anything, it looked as if these three could become an official trio, as every song they had released gained positive feedback. 1-6 were not the only gang making noise in the Bristol drill scene, however, with two fours or twos also somewhat frequently releasing tracks. These included The Real Truth and multiple loading freestyles. If anything, though, it really looked as if RC or Loki, JM and YM YM could make it out of the streets as a trio. Sadly, however, the trio would lose one of their main rappers, this being YM, who was stabbed to death in June 2023. On the 10th of June, 2023, 16-year-old Mikey Roynan, known as YM, would be traveling on a bus to a girl's 16th birthday party in Bath. On a separate bus, a group of teenagers would also be traveling to the party. However, it is believed that this group of teens were armed with knives. Upon arriving at the party, YM and others began to have fun at the house party. Although only a few hours after the party had begun, the armed teens that were on the bus hours earlier got into an argument with 16-year-old YM, with one of the teens retrieving a knife and stabbing YM in the neck. People at the party began to phone 999 in an attempt at saving YM's life, with the defendants fleeing shortly after the stabbing. Although only days later, Shane Cunningham, 16, Leo Knight, 16, and Cartel Bushnell, 16, were charged with the murder, with Shane Cunningham going on to stay silent during his interview, whilst interrogators tried their best to find out the truth. Tell me about what led you to stab Mikey Rowling in the neck. Was it you that stabbed him in the neck? Was it somebody else that stabbed him in the neck? What was your intention when you did that? What was your intention to make him die? What, what is all this over? It's a house party, lots of people are there. Is there anything you can tell us now? About what happened? And why you acted this way? And the knife that was used to stab that, was that in your possession the whole time? In the end, however, Shane Cunningham was found guilty and jailed for life with a minimum of 16 years, whilst both Leo Knight and Cartel Bushnell were found guilty of manslaughter, being given nine years for the murder. Rest in peace, YM, or Mikey Roynan. Just under a month following this fatal stabbing, an associate of the rival 2-4s gang was stabbed to death, with this supposedly being an alleged retaliatory attack. On the 21st of July, 2023, 19-year-old Eddie or EK would be walking on Grosvenor Road in the St. Paul's area of Bristol, BS2. He was attacked shortly before 11 p.m. He sustained multiple stab wounds and sadly died on the scene only moments later. Upon hearing of his death, police launched a murder investigation. However, despite multiple arrests, no one has been charged for the murder of EK with this murder going unsolved. Rest in peace, Eddie or EK. Whilst it is not known what happened between the 1-6 gang and 2-4s gang following this murder, what is known is that in February 2024, a member of 2-4s was allegedly stabbed multiple times by a 1-6 member, resulting in the 2-4s member being rushed to hospital. Incident. No other incidents have really occurred within the streets, but I hope that all of the members involved in this rivalry can focus on music instead of the gang life, as realistically this gang life only ever leads to jail or death and never anything positive. These people may appear to be your friends now, but when you're riding decades for these people, they will move on in their life and forget about you. So realistically, the road life is 
is never worth it. If you enjoyed this video, however, make sure to like and subscribe as it supports the channel.